Not a story you will see only here on 13 Action News. Cyberbullying and the attempt to hold the Clark County School District accountable for it. A former CCSD high school student believes CCSD didn't do enough to help him. Now he's taking legal action. That's right, and we want to warn you right now. Some viewers may find the content of this report disturbing. Reporter Jeremy Chen has a story. In this lawsuit filed against CCSD, it details what one former student says is a case of hidden cyberbullying not taken seriously by his own school. It was just so disturbing to me how graphic and, and, and how like detailed everything was. Minwoo Cho is still upset as he reads through this Instagram chat thread. Three of his classmates at West Career and Technical Academy describing how they would murder him. It was just a traumatic experience, like reading through the messages slowly one by one. Cho, now a freshman at UNLV, says the thread was made in August of 2019 when he was a junior at the high school. It begins with his classmates making fun of Cho before changing to violent threats. There are messages saying they would stab him 28 times and using language like his face is sealed and unshackle your hate. The thread continues with how they would dump his body in the desert. I don't even think I've seen anything like this in like a movie or something like that. Cho was somehow added to the chat group where he was shocked to find the thread. Fearing for his life, he says he went to school administrators. A safety plan was hatched, but Cho felt it was too vague and he felt the school's actions insufficient. He says he was told, Oh, they're just joking. But it was no joke to Cho deciding to take legal action. He filed a restraining order against the three offenders and won. But at school, they were just perfectly fine just being back on campus with me. That. I just felt that that wasn't enough. He then hired a law firm and sued the parents and the Clark County School District for negligence. My safety wasn't um, in good hands, uh, in, in the school district's hands. Um, I expect when I go to school that I'm fully secure. We did reach out to CCSD and the district told us it does not comment on pending litigation. The parents settled with Cho, leaving CCSD the last defendant. Cho says he hopes his legal push will give a voice to other cyberbullying victims. If you are going through something um, similar to this or, or have experienced cyberbullying, that you are able to get um, the justice that you need. Cho's case against CCSD has now gone to trial. The trial date is still pending. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jeremy Chen.